Moving video out of St. John the Baptist Parish shows a rolling ambush on West Airline Highway Curve, a drive-by shooting that took the life of a 16-year-old girl. In this video, released today by Sheriff Mike Traig, you can see the targeted car leaving reserve just after 2 a.m. when a gray sedan pulls up from behind. Several muzzle flashes light the early morning road before the suspect car drives off with the gunman hanging out the windows. This is not right. Miss Henry, age 16, gunned down June 2nd, 2024 in Reserve, Louisiana. Lock these fools up and throw the key away or the death penalty. God bless her family. Damn. video out of St. John the Baptist Parish shows a rolling ambush on West Airline Highway Curve, a drive-by shooting that took the life of a 16-year-old girl. In this video, released today by Sheriff Mike Traig, you can see the targeted car leaving reserve just after 2 a.m. when a gray sedan pulls up from behind. Several muzzle flashes light the early morning road before the suspect car drives off with the gunman hanging out the windows. Six people were inside the targeted car, but authorities said only 16-year-old Araya Henry was fatally shot. And now the sheriff is asking for your help to catch her killers. They don't deserve to be on the streets of St. John Parish or any street in our state or country. We, we have to get them. We have to capture them. Brazen gunmen opened fire on a moving car early Sunday morning in reserve. Right now, I just need to find out who shot up this car and who killed this 16 year old girl. One of the parish's crime cameras caught the moment gunfire struck a car with 10th grade East St. John High School student Araya Henry inside. We're just waiting for somebody to give us a little bit more than what we have so we can get this case rolling again. But right now, we're kind of at a standstill. Sheriff Mike Traig says the teen left a nearby party getting into the car with three adult men and two other juvenile girls. Using more of the parish's camera system, deputies noticed a suspect gray sedan lying in wait. Hiding in the darkness. When the car that the victim was in started moving, the suspect's vehicle followed them. Surviving victims tell deputies they stopped at a gas station for snacks. The suspect's vehicle parked in the darkness and waited for them to move again. As their car was leaving reserve, the suspect's car pulls up from behind. Several shots are fired and the suspects speed away. Gunmen still hanging out the windows. The car carrying Henry, shot in the hip by what deputies believe to be a rifle, makes a sharp U-turn heading to the hospital where Henry died. Now investigators are looking for a lead. The three adult males refused to cooperate with law enforcement at all. They wouldn't talk to us, wouldn't say anything. So everything we have right now is based on our technology and our crime cameras. Those cameras led investigators to recover the suspect's car hidden off a dead end road. The car was reported stolen out of New Orleans in March. You really, really have to know the area to park a vehicle back there and he had it covered with a tarp. Over the past two weeks, Traig says there's been more criminal activity than usual. They always say it takes a village to raise the child, but it appears the villagers are afraid of the children. The sheriff hopes the St. John community can bring justice for the young girl. The citizens out here know me. We solve cases very well. The citizens have been very helpful. They give us tips. They lead us in the right direction. That's what I'm asking today. If you have information related to this fatal shooting, call St. John deputies at the number there on your screen, 504 494 26 a crucial reminder here, help is available. If you or anyone you know is a victim of domestic violence, you can call the phone number there on your screen or simply text the word START to 88788. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.